Good evening. My name is Carolyn Black, and I'm the director of music at St. Paul on the Hill, and I am doing Compline for you this Friday night. I want to start with a, a song that says, I will trust in the Lord. And across my shirt tonight, there's the word faith, which I truly have a lot of. begins tonight with the Book of Common Prayer on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Psalm 31 on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Lord, 
page 131 in the middle of the page. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is from Matthew, the 11th verse, the 11th chapter, sorry, verse 28 through 30. Thanks be to God. Page 132 at the top of the page. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 through 21. Thanks be to God. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord. Now I have a prayer from my book of prayers. It's a collection of meditations for renewal, a rhythm of prayer. And this is a prayer for the church. You may have heard part of it before. Spirit of Jesus, come with fire that refines, water that refreshes, wind that topples, breath that fills. Kindle a global revival of empathy, justice, and active peacemaking. Birth a witness of love that is bigger and better than we inherited. Liberate us from privilege and oppression. Unshackle the gospel from nationalism, colonialism, white supremacy, and every other lens that shrouds the good news. Give us an abundance of grace for others and ourselves. Grant us compassion for those who suffer. Free us from the influence of money and power and acclaim. Restore our reputation for caring for the poor, loving our neighbors, being ambassadors of peace and stewards of the earth. Unlock the immense resources hoarded in the Western Church and release them for your name's sake. Encourage us so we do not grow cynical, isolated, and burnt out. Fan our hopes, our joys, and our connections. Allow us rest when we need rest. Enable us to see you in each person that we encounter. Show us mercy in our humanity. Love us more fully than we thought possible. Let us not be quick on the draw, ready to retaliate, escalate, assassinate. Let our collective fervor for justice eclipse institutional concerns. Let us trust and follow the wisdom of those who have been marginalized. Let us persevere in creating safe places of worship to eat bread and drink wine together. Let us stand for love and with love, following the way of your Son as best we are able. Let us not fear an experiential spirituality spirituality sorry let us listen to the wondrous bodies that you gave us let us hear your voice and tangibly feel you within us let us discern your guidance let us abide in and with you 
Show us what you are doing so we can work together. Move where you will, when you will, in whatever way you will. Come, Holy Spirit, and restore your church. Amen. And now, let us pray together the prayer that our Father, Lord Jesus, taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now let us pray for those who are in dire need. For Faith, Betty, Karen, Bill, Aileen, Father Pridemore, Alicia, Kathleen, Jean, Marjorie, Jean, Donna, Ginger, Darrell, Bev, Bill, George, Leslie, Nils, Terry, Todd, Beverly, Stephanie, Dan, Stephen, Jane, Kenny, Barbara, Claire, Christine, Bruce, Jenny, Melanie, Marty, Jim, Doug, John, Marco, Chuck, Mary Beth, and Jean. And now for our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Elfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Dina, Peter, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Bill, and Anthony. And especially for those who have died, Ephleterios, or Teddy, Platellus. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stay safe, my friends. Wear your masks, stay socially distanced, get vaccinated if you have not. When the time comes for you to get a booster, get your boosters. Pray for those who are in Afghanistan and still need to get out. Haiti, where they've had so much drama and trauma. And those who have suffered so with Ida and all the flooding, bless us all, dear Lord. Amen.